D15 is a type of Colombian test that is used to check the ability of a person to discriminate different shades and it identifies the Colombian defects such as protonopia, deuteronopia or tritonopia. So every defect, red green defect and blue yellow defects, the, either they are congenital or acquired, they can be checked by this test right so this test has 16 caps that need to be arranged according to the hues or according to the shade so you have to uh, make sure that the illumination of the room is very uh, good and the, if the patient is wearing any uh, prescription glasses it is very necessary for the patient to use that glasses during the test right and you have to guide the patient that they have to arrange these caps accordingly uh, according to the hues they can identify secondly you have to shuffle all the caps in order to uh, avoid any cheating or in order to avoid any hints for the patient so you have to shuffle them and then ask the patient to um, arrange them and when they are done with the arrangement you have to just close the tray and check that either the numbers or the sequence they have arranged are, is okay or not so in this video here patient has arranged very accurately all the uh, caps are arranged in a sequence and we are going to, to plot the graph uh, this test is binocular first thing very important thing this test can be performed binocularly or monocularly here we have performed the test binocularly and that is why we are just plotting the graph the graph is plotted simply by uh, arranging or by, by joining the points that the patient has arranged according to the cap so if the patient has placed the uh, uh, one cap after zero you just have to join zero and one similarly all the caps are uh, plotted on the graph in a same way now this patient has the normal color vision because the graph is very smooth and in a sequence right so now we have another patient you are you are going to do the same procedure you can see the caps have the numbers that is why you have to hide these number from the patient and shuffle the cap one more important thing that i forgot to tell you is that you have to place the reference caps so the reference cap is 0 and 15 one and other 14 are those that need to be arranged by the patient so 0 reference cap is the starting point while the 15th reference point is the point where the patient has to end the color right so you have going to do we are performing the test onto another patient and we are going to evaluate that either the patient this patient has the normal color vision or not that give the patient enough time to uh, arrange the caps here you can see that there are the mix arrangement of the color so uh, when you will avoid it you can see the number on the caps they are on the uh, bottom of the caps so they are arranged in a wrong manner or in a different way than uh, the normal ones so it means that patient may have some kind of anomaly in his eyes so we are arranging the um, while plotting the graph you can see that the spikes there are spikes different spikes and they are not in a regular arranged manner so this it's not a good sequence and you can see these deviation of the lines right so we are going to evaluate from this type of patterns by the help of this graph pattern that either patient is red defective green defective or the blue defective So here by using these uh, or by learning these patterns you can evaluate that patient has which type of 
color yield effect so here in this video in this specific case this pattern is indicating that patient is having red defect so the patient is actually having the red defect that is the if he is the protonope or a patient has a red color vein deficiency